Hello, Joel from Limbit here. Today I will demonstrate erasure coding in DRBD. This is still at a highly experimental stage. We're using a six node cluster for this demo, where one node will be used to access the data and the other five to store it. So what is erasure coding? Normally DRBD simply replicates the data between nodes. That is known as RAID1 or mirroring. Erasure coding is an alternative approach where the data is spread across some nodes and others store a specially encoded version of the data. The specially encoded data can be used to reconstruct the original data if the nodes storing it are offline or lost. That is essentially RAID 5 or 6, but with an arbitrary number of parity nodes. The benefit compared to simple replication is that much less disk space is used, while the level of redundancy remains similar. Our cluster is managed by Linstore. We create a test resource. We're going to use the first five nodes, 0 to 4, as data nodes. The data will be spread across the five nodes with three data blocks and two parity blocks. Node 5 will be used as a diskless client. That is, we will access the data from Node 5 without storing any of it there. This is similar to a RAID 6 array. Linstore is not yet aware of the erasure coding, so the specified size is treated as the size of the backing devices to create. Due to the erasure coding, the resulting volume is actually larger. Let's write some data and see what DRD does with it. We're using a text file, because then we can more easily identify what is happening to the data. Now we look at the disk on the first data node. We see that the start of the text file has been stored here. On the other hand, if we look at node 4, We see that it doesn't look like a text file anymore. What we're looking at here is one of the parity blocks. However, the data and parity roles are rotated amongst the nodes, so if we scroll down, we'll find a different part of the text file. To demonstrate the erasure coding, we remove two of the nodes from the cluster. We reset the resource to ensure that we're not just reading from the cache. And even without parts of the original data, DFD can still reconstruct it. Finally, let us put the erasure coding implementation under a bit of pressure. The DRBD integration is a proof of concept which hasn't been optimised much yet, so we don't expect to break any world records in terms of performance. We are now working on production quality integration of erasure coding into DRBD, so look out for updates. Thanks to Proseta for providing the test cluster, and thank you for watching.